Privacy when you are alone without being seen or heard or disturbed by anyone it is called privacy when you are away from others it is called privacy when you have freedom from interference or intrusion from others it is called privacy it is a commonly and frequently used word in communication here we are learning some of the most commonly used sentences with the word privacy read these sentences repeatedly which will improve our fluency sentences there is hardly any privacy in this undivided family please leave me alone i need some privacy you are invading our privacy i don't want anyone to disturb our privacy your grown up daughters need privacy why don't you move to a bigger house i have enough privacy here i don't have any privacy here do you have any privacy in the government hospital don't we have any privacy here to undress how much privacy do you want please learn to maintain some privacy have some manners don't intrude on their privacy nobody should violate our privacy there isn't any wall or curtain or partition to protect our privacy i enjoy my privacy only in our farm house please learn to value your privacy she has read the scanning report in the privacy of her home she wants to be left in privacy do i not have right to privacy as a doctor it is my responsibility to protect the privacy of my patient there is no privacy here there was no privacy there there will be no privacy there there won't be any privacy for you there you don't misuse the privacy you have ruined their privacy is there any privacy to the lady patients in your hospital due to lack of privacy we moved from there owing to some privacy issues she has left our group even children also need some privacy i respect your privacy don't we deserve any privacy the newly married couple needs some privacy please provide it some tv channels seem to have scant regard for the privacy of the celebrities we have returned to the privacy of our own home so these are some of the most commonly frequently used sentences with the word privacy so read them as many times as possible so that you also can keep using them in your communication whenever the topic of privacy arises read the sentences loudly clearly repeatedly to train the tongue understand the situation and the sentence structure clearly always make own examples to improve your spontaneity and fluency but never do grammar exercises they don't improve our communication skills thank you keep learning english language have a great time